What's up guys, welcome to another video on the Venton Unibox HD Eco from XBMC Wizard. Today I'm just going to show you something really simple that comes already preloaded with the box and that is basically how to change skins. I've already had a lot of people asking me how user friendly is uh, the device and it, it very is, you know, it's, it's very simple and um, once you get the hang of it and moving around it's, it's, it's a doddle. So as you can see I'm using the um, Sly skin at the moment. So on your remote you need to go to, let me just show you what it's like first actually so you guys can see. For example, so I've gone onto the guide there you can see it's all nice. So what we need to do is that we need to head into menu, we need to go down to setup, system and we need to go down to user interface and we want to go to skin setup and then there you go guys uh, my screen's a bit cut off because I haven't calibrated my TV with the skin but you can see on the left hand side there um, you've got one called blue HD which is the uh, sly uh, the one beneath that is the vermin uh, virgin and the last one is sly Q, sky Q. and basically these are the three main popular ones that everyone's used to and very user friendly so basically it's just choose one so we'll select the vermin one it'll ask you to restart which one press yes and now what it will do now is take a couple of moments to uh, reboot the device and then when it comes back on again you'll see that it's changed like like anyone having um, a new device and especially a new skin um, you know it, it takes time to Think what's the best one for yourselves to use so um, obviously the guys at XBMC Wizard have put the three most popular ones on there so your choice is a bit more limited because there is a lot of skins out there and they're not all that great to be honest um, I've, I've looked at about 10 or 12 so far and my, my three favorites are these three favorites and because um, obviously we know of these skins and people use them day to day on other machines and stuff it's very user friendly so as you can see the loader on the top left hand corner that's just uh, populating a new skin onto your device. I say it should take a couple of minutes tops to be honest. Um, sometimes um, I swap monthly um, just because it's a, a change but as you can see there guys now the uh, mini EPGs popped up there. So we'll go and just select that again as you can see the mini EPG is quite nice and then we'll just click on the guide and I'll show you guys what the guide's like. So as you can see there, it's pretty smart. And then um, if you want to change back, all you need to do is come out again, press menu, press menu, sorry, uh, go down to uh, setup, system, user interface, skin setup, and then go back to the one you prefer press yes and then give that a couple of uh, minutes again and then we'll uh, just run this process so you guys can see it in real time and then it will go back to the skin you're using previously before like I say each to their own um, on the skins I prefer the blue HD because I'm a bit old school on that and it's nice and clean and simple some of these new skins that are coming out are a bit too um, populated and I like my, my skin to be quite clean and, sh and sharp so I'll give it a minute or so now to let that load up and this doesn't affect anything on your device either so don't think if you've got some IPTV stuff on there or um, recordings um, it doesn't affect it at all it's just basically the skin you're changing you're not changing any of the actual other software on there it's basically just a visual and as you can see there guys we're back up and running I'll show you the guide just to show you that it's all there and correct and there we go so that's uh, my video on how you change the skin it's very easy and like I say it's under five minutes to go back and forth so uh, good luck and I'll see you in the next video